Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. There is rumors starting to circulate that the WWE's main priorities in 2015 look like this. Focus on pushing the WWE Network in hopes of boosting the subscriber rate as well as getting the network into different countries and expanding it more than ever before. And to a certain standard, the WWE is a company. They're looking to make money. They're looking to, um, you know, up the ante. And that's exactly what they need to do. They haven't reached that million subscriber number yet. They thought they would have. They anticipated it, but it didn't go their way. And maybe that has to do with the way the product is being run. But I digress. There is more to this report. There is more priorities on the WWE's list. And there better be, I'll tell you. They need to bounce back in more ways than one. WWE looking to build new tupas, new superstars, <laughs> that being number two. We're already seeing the WWE start that transition. The Seth Rollins, the Roman Reigns, the Dean Ambrose, the Bray Wyatts, Ryback coming back into his own. And finally, WWE looking for strategies to bump up Raw's ratings. Yes, because ever since Raw went to three hours, you have seen the decline hour by hour by damn hour. The WWE needs to keep those fans invested. The WWE needs to find new strategies to keep those fans in tune to what is going on. Give the fans a reason to want to tune in next week. Leave them on the edge of the seat. Leave them guessing. All right? The WWE, they, don't, they, aren't, they, aren't, they aren't going above and beyond the call of duty. They're, they're in you know pilot mode right now. While WWE has a lot more to work on, you got that right, a lot more to work on, and certainly there is more on the plate for WWE to deal with, which is fact, this is said to be the top three things as of now. Okay, so that's as of now, all right. I understand, I get it. It should also be noted that more attention will be given to the Divas and Tag Team Divisions in the new year. With many wrestlers getting called up from NXT to WWE's main roster to fill voids. Well, you know, the tag team division is going to look stronger. You got, you got Charlotte coming up to NXT, perhaps Bailey. Um, I think the WWE is going to have a strong year in the new year. And um, how could it be any worse? I mean, the WWE was plagued by injuries, uh, played by horrible creative decisions. Uh, you know, the script not being in on time. There was just a lot that played up to the WWE's. Uh, negatives and uh, that shown through in 2014 there were some moments there's no doubt about it don't get me wrong there were some great matches there were some incredible pay-per-views but I don't know in more ways than one the bad may have outweighed the good and that's what the WWE doesn't want to deal with that's the direction they don't want to go in so what I'm looking forward to right now quite frankly is your comments and your opinions and do you think that this is uh, you know, the pri the priorities that the WWE should be working on. I myself don't have a problem with it. Subscribe.